Nature doesn't ask your permission. It doesn't care about your wishes or whether you like its laws or not. You're obliged to accept it as it is and consequently all its results as well. I gave up caring about anything and all the problems disappeared. Nothing is more seductive for a man than his freedom of conscience, but nothing is a greater cause of suffering. Besides, nowadays, almost all capable people are terribly afraid of being ridiculous and are miserable because of it. Intelligence alone is not nearly enough when it comes to acting wisely. People really do like seeing their best friends humiliated. A large part of the friendship is based on humiliation. And that is an old truth well known to all intelligent people. The secret of man's being is not only to live but to have something to live for. Man is a creature that can get accustomed to anything, and I think that that is the best definition of a human. There is immeasurably more left inside than what comes out in words. But men love abstract reasoning and neat systemization so much that they think nothing of distorting the truth. Closing their eyes and ears to contrary evidence to preserve their logical constructions. Let us not forget that the reasons for human actions are usually incalculably more complex and diverse than we tend to explain them later and are seldom clearly manifest. Only through suffering can we find ourselves. My soul bleeds, and the blood steadily, silently, disturbingly, slowly swallows me whole. What would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything? Taking a new step, uttering a new word, is what people fear the most. To go wrong in one's own way is better than to go right in someone else's. What humanity wants is simply independent choice. Whatever that independence may cost and wherever it may lead, To be in love is not the same as loving. You can be in love with a person and still hate them. If God does not exist, then everything is permissible. To love is to suffer, and there can be no love otherwise.
Since man cannot live without miracles, he will provide himself with miracles of his own making. He will believe in witchcraft and sorcery, even though he may be otherwise a heretic, an atheist, and a rebel. Wealth is the number of things one can do without. My friend, the truth is always implausible. Did you know that? To make the truth more plausible, it's absolutely necessary to mix a bit of falsehood with it. People have always done so. I believe the best definition of humanity is the ungrateful biped. Reality is infinitely diverse compared with even the subtlest conclusions of abstract thought and does not allow clear-cut and sweeping distinctions. Reality resists classification. There is nothing higher and stronger and more wholesome and useful for life in later years than some good memory, especially a memory connected with childhood, with home. Believe to the end, even if all men went astray and you were left the only one faithful, bring your offering even then and your praise to the universe in your loneliness. The degree of civilization in a society can be judged by entering its prisons. I am strongly convinced that not only too much consciousness, but even a consciousness at all is a sickness. From a hundred rabbits, you can't make a horse. The more you succeed in loving, the more you'll be convinced at the existence of God and the immortality of your soul. I've always considered myself smarter than everyone around me, and sometimes, believe me, I've been ashamed of it. At the least, all my life, I've looked away and could never look people straight in the eye. The person who is happy is fulfilling the purpose of existence. We have it all in our hands, and it all slips through our fingers from sheer cowardice. If you can put the question, am I or am I not responsible for my acts, then you are responsible. Was it all put into words? Or did both understand that they had the same thing at heart and their minds so that there was no need to speak of it aloud and better not to speak of it? To love another person is to see them as God intended them to be. Every blade of grass, every insect, ant, and golden bee all so amazingly know their path. 
though they have not intelligence, they bear witness to the mystery and continually accomplish it themselves. Paradise is hidden in each one of us. It is concealed within me too, right now. And if I wish, it will come for me in reality, tomorrow even, and for the rest of my life. It does not matter whether it was a dream or reality, if the dream made known to me the truth. If you love all things, you will also attain the divine mystery that is in all things. For then your ability to perceive the truth will grow every day and your mind will open itself to an all-embracing love. Dreams seem to be spurred on not only by reason, but by desire. Not by the head, but by the heart. And yet, what complicated tricks my reason has played sometimes in dreams. If the devil exists, man has created him and in his own image and likeness. The world will be saved by beauty. A hundred suspicions don't make a proof. The most offensive is not their lying. One can always forgive lying. Lying is a delightful thing, for it leads to the truth. What is offensive is that they lie and worship their own lying. A man who lies to himself and believes his own lies becomes unable to recognize truth either in himself or anyone else. And he ends up losing respect for himself and for others. Man is sometimes extraordinarily passionately in love with suffering. Lack of originality everywhere all over the world, from time immemorial, has always been considered the foremost quality and the recommendation of the active, efficient, and practical man. One must love life before loving its meaning. Yes, and when the love of life disappears, no meaning can console us. She looked much younger than her age, indeed, which is almost always the case with women who retain serenity of spirit, sensitiveness, and pure, sincere warmth of heart till old age.
A society should be judged not by how it treats its outstanding citizens, but by how it treats its criminals. Humanity has such a predilection for systems and abstract deductions that we are ready to distort the truth intentionally, ready to deny the evidence of our senses, only to justify our logic. They were renewed by love. The heart of each held infinite sources of life for the heart of the other. The death of a child is the greatest reason to doubt the existence of God. If one wanted to crush and destroy a man entirely, to mete out to him the most terrible punishment, all one would have to do would be to make him do work that was completely and utterly devoid of usefulness and meaning. At first, art imitates life. Then life will imitate art. Then life will find its very existence from the arts. What is hell? I maintain that it is the suffering of being unable to love. Destroy my desires. Eradicate my ideals. Show me something better. And I will follow you.